In this video, I'm going to show you how to effectively open multiple MT4 platforms on your computer. So, like right now, I am using Coinex, but it doesn't matter, um, you know, if I'm using Coinex or any of the other brokers. Um, <clears throat> when you want to open two accounts from the same broker, what you want to do is you want to keep each account in its own MetaTrader window. And so I'm going to show you how to set that up so that you don't get crossover and each account has its own MetaTrader 4 platform. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Coinex. Uh, com because that's the broker I use. If you use another broker, this process is the same. Okay, now before I can open another account, I have to sign in. This takes me just a second. They have so many levels of security on here now. It takes a few minutes to actually open this up. So bear with me. Sometimes I have to go through that secret number two or three times because it changes every 10 seconds and I can't type that fast. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go open a new demo account. So I'm going to click on demo account and I want it to be MT4, not MT5. So what I'm going to do here is create an account. Now I'm going to go ahead and pick the leverage that I like to use and I'm going to pick my uh, base currency that my account will be in. For me, that's USD. Might not be that if you live in Europe, you might use your EUR or something, okay? So you got to set it up the way you want it to be. Now, what's happening here is it's generating an account for me, okay? Now, what I always do uh, so that I always have the password information where I can find it easily is what I do is I take a screenshot of this information and then what I do is I will save um, that photograph in a file folder where I can go and find this account number and this password very easily. Okay, so that's the way I do it. Uh, you might just want to write your numbers down on a piece of paper. Uh, most of the time, CoinEx and probably most brokers will send you an email with this information on it for your records. But for some reason, I don't always get emails from CoinEx because of my internet provider. So if you're one of the people like me that can't count on getting the email, then you've, you've got to make sure you write this down so that you have access to it somehow, some way. So now uh, where it says download MT4 for desktop, I'm going to click right there and that just downloaded the installer. So I'm going to click on the installer to get it started and I'm going through a message that you don't see on the screen. But now the second message that it brings up, and I'm going to start arranging my monitor here so that I can have access to all the stuff I want when I want it. Um, this window comes up, and this is the window where if I only had one CoinEx account and on a computer or something, I just start flipping through the word next over and over and over until it finished. But because I already have a CoinEx account on this computer and I don't want them sharing the same base files in uh, my Program 86 folder, 
I want them each to have their own set of files. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the word settings before I click on next. Now, what I'm going to do is create a new folder for this account and this account only. So what I want to do up here where it says installation folder, I don't want to use what it's generating by itself. So I'm going to click on browse and then I'm going to click on my C drive and then I'm going to click on the program 86 folder. Not just plain programs files, but program files 86. And I'm going to highlight that. Now when I highlighted the program 86 folder, it actually opened it so that I can see all of the uh, folders that are already in my program 86 folder, right? Now, when I, for the next step that I want to take, I do not want this program 86 folder to already be open and showing all the subfolders, but I do want it to be highlighted. So I'm going to close this directory of subfolders by clicking this little caret one time only. So now I have the program 86 folder highlighted but not open. Okay? So what I'm going to do now is come down here where it says make new folder. Now that when I hit this, that new folder is going to go inside of the program 86 folder because I have it highlighted. So I'm going to click one time only on make new folder. Now, the program 86 folder opened again and now it's asking for a name for this new folder that I made. So I'm going to, whoops, now I have to click off of it, so now I have to right click on it until I want to rename it. I'm going to name this folder Coinex, C-O-I-N-E-X-X, -X, which is the broker. And then I'm going to name it the trading ID number for this particular account. And that is 5187313. Okay, see, I, I took that right from, from here. So now that I have that named, I'm going to click on that folder one time just to solidify it and then I'm going to click OK. Now <clears throat> we see in the installation folder this is in the C drive program files 86 and then it's in a subfolder called Coinex 5187313. Now on this program group right below there we need to know make sure that the program group that this account is going to be referencing is the same name as the folder that's holding the EA. So I'm going to very carefully copy just the name, not the slashes or anything like that, just the word Coinex and the number, and I'm going to come down here. Oh, whoops, I forgot to copy it. To say I'm trying to work a little too fast. So I've got that highlighted and I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to come down here and select over this stuff and paste in the name that matches identically to the folder it's going to be in. Now if you're using Coinex, I don't know about other brokers, but if this little box right here has a check mark in it, which mine does, when this finishes downloading, it's going to bring up another website um, about MQL5 community. And I don't care about that. I don't want that opening, you know. Um, I'm going to uncheck that box. So now, when this finishes loading, it's not going to open some other website and confuse me about what's going on, right? So now I can start clicking the word next. 
Now I might have to click that several times depending on the broker that you're using but once you click next you just sit back and wait because what's happening is the download of a new MT4 platform is in progress and now it says finish so all I have to do now is click the word finish. Now usually after a few seconds a new MetaTrader um, window opened and it did open on another screen <laughs> so I'll pull it down on this screen in a minute but this is the window that opened okay and so um, I'm using a CoinX demo account so I want to make sure I'm on the demo server not the live server if you're opening a live account when you get to this window you would want to click on the CoinX live server but I'm doing a demo so the demo server is highlighted and that's okay so I'm just going to click next and now it's wanting me to log into a, a trading account or if I didn't have one already that I've created uh, you can say new demo account and it'll take you through a process to essentially do what I just did opening this account but I have an existing trade account it's a brand new one I just created it but it is existing okay so I don't have to open another new one so what I'm gonna do is type in the trading ID right here which is 51 eight seven three one three and instead of trying to type in this crazy password I'm going to go right over here and I'm going to very carefully copy the password making sure that I don't get any extra space before or after the you know that password and now I'm going to copy that password and I'm going to bring it over here and paste it right there and then you do want to make sure that your save password box has checked if not you're going to really have to remember this password somehow because you would have to retype it in every time you try to open the, the MetaTrader platform correct so now that I have done that I can click finish and once you hear the bling, incoming mail incoming mail now I am able to go up to my other monitor and drag it down here now the thing is until you have um, logged in to a trading account it's almost impossible to move this Coinex platform off of whatever monitor it decided to go in <laughs> okay so so that's how you do that now once you have this new Coinex account um, you can you know do whatever you know you typically do I never use uh, a trading account taking up the whole screen because I like to layer my screen around to where if I want to go to this trading account I can or if I want to click on this trading account I can but I like to keep them separated now what you can't see on this particular computer screen that I'm using is my task bar which is down you know that bottom line of your main monitor and the for me using CoinX the little icons that appear for CoinX are orange letter C's like in cat right um, and it's just a big letter C but what you want to do before you go much farther at all in setting up your your new account is you want to go down to your taskbar and find that big letter C that will be down here in your taskbar line and you want to right click on it and tell it to pin 
this account to the taskbar. And that way, when you close the account and want to reopen it, you don't have to go through your programs looking for it or anything. All you got to do is go to your taskbar and click on that letter C. So I am pinning this to the taskbar on the monitor that has the taskbar on it. And so now, if I want to close this account and reopen it, all I do is I go over to that other monitor, click the C icon, right, the, the correct one, because if you have multiple MetaTrader accounts, you will have multiple C icons down there. And you might want to move them around where they're side by side, or you might want to move one to the front of the line if it's your, you know, on your taskbar. And you do that by clicking on the icon, left clicking, and dragging it across the other icons and place it in the order where you want it to be. Okay, so that's what I do um, so that I do not have to have two or three uh, trading accounts inside one MetaTrader window, okay? And so that, this way um, the accounts can not, there's no possible way that you can get cross-contamination by the trades that you're putting in one account as opposed to the trades that you're putting in the other account. And it makes it real easy because, you know, if you've got a bunch of trading accounts, you can just kind of layer them up, you know, going down your screen. And then you can go, oh, this one. No, now I want to do something in this one. Now I want to do something in this other one. So it just is a very convenient way to work. And it's also a very safe way to, to stay away from any potential cross-contamination of trades. Okay, so that's really the end of this video, and I hope it helps you. hope it helps everybody. I'll probably post this on YouTube this evening. So thanks for listening. Talk to you again soon. It's Mindy here from uh, MindyYost.com. I guess I better tell you that. So if you need more information, you'll know where to find me. Just a second here. MindyYost.com. And so if, if you need more Forex information, please come to my website, MindyYost.com. I have lots of good Forex information on my website. I have a YouTube channel that uh, if you want to find me on YouTube, just type in my name and you'll find me. But um, I offer a lot of um, MetaTrader four EAs that are very, very effective. And um, so anyway, check me out. I hope I get to talk to you soon. Bye for now.